back everybody, I'm Adrian and thanks for logging on to the Zape Ape channel. This right here is a 2018 Camaro and we will be changing the front disc brakes today. Before we get started, make sure your car is in park, your parking brake is engaged, and wheel chocks if you have any. To start off, we're going to jack the car up, take the wheel off, and then we're going to get to the fun stuff. Now that we have the tire off, this is what most disc brakes look like. Your brake calibers are usually held on by two bolts. We're going to remove those, that way we can get to the brakes. So we have our two bolts, one down here, one up here. We'll remove our bottom one first, and then we'll come to our top one. Before you remove the last bolt, just hold the caliber so that way it doesn't fall on you. Damn, this thing is stuck. All right, so my brake calibers are stuck, so we're gonna try and shiv it out very carefully. You don't wanna break anything. So much for the brake caliber falling on you. I need a crowbar to take these off. Now that we got this brake caliber off, let's get these brakes out. It's more right there. These brakes slide right off. Also, don't forget, take off these things because you will be replacing them. It comes with the brakes. Very, very simple. We're going to start out by putting the shims in first. And all you have to do, they're all the same, so all you have to do is just pop them right in. Remember, there's two of them, one for the top and one for the bottom. Now that we got the shims in, we're going to get these brakes in. For our next step, we'll need a C-clamp and a wood block. So for this next step with the C-clamp and block, we're gonna push the cylinder in. So you wanna make sure to set it up to use both your arms. You want to use some force, push it until it doesn't go no more. You'll be able to tell when it stops moving. Good. 
Now that the cylinder is flush with the caliber, it should slide right in with your new brakes. Just like hey, you're gonna wanna hold it, don't let it fall, because it could hurt. And just thread your bolts on. Tighten your bolt. And then you should be good to go after that. Now that both bolts are tightened up, I'm gonna go pump the brakes and make sure nothing falls off. Nothing fell off, good to go. Now that I got this side done, I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the other side. See you guys in a bit. That's it for this one. That's how you change brakes. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. And we'll see you next one.